Are you short on time and need to get out the door quick? I got you covered, friends. We're gonna get into my top five things that I use when I have to get out the door really quick. How is everybody today? I hope that everybody is doing good. Thanks so much for spending a part of your day with me today. Not only am I happy to be bringing you these five tips about how to get out the door quicker, but I'm also really excited because this is a video collaboration with one of the most special women on YouTube, and that is Melissa55. Melissa has been doing YouTube for years, and I have watched her ever since I started watching a beauty channel on YouTube. This is like a dream come true for me to be able to collaborate with this woman. She is one of the kindest and sweetest and genuine people that I think I've ever seen here on YouTube. She has a brightness surrounding her personality like I have never known before. She just exudes a gentleness that is so special. So if you don't know who Melissa is here on YouTube, you're missing out on a lot. You need to go over and check out her channel. She does reviews. She does a lot of tag videos, which are really fun. She opens her heart up to her audience, which I think is fantastic. And if you're not following her on Instagram, you're really missing out because she does Instagram stories almost every day. And she's just talking to you like you're her girlfriend in her living room, which is so much fun. I really am so very grateful to Melissa for allowing us to do this collaboration together. She is just one of those people that I have looked up to for a very long time. And I know that you're going to fall in love with her as much as I have if you haven't had the chance to see her yet. Now, if you are here from her channel, I want to say a special welcome to you. I thank you so much for coming over and seeing what I'm all about. I hope that you do enjoy the content and the video today, and please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And to all of my faithful subscribers, I always try to say a special thank you to all of you for making my channel what it is. Okay, let's get into the five makeup tips to quickly get you out the door right now. Okay, most of my tips are about double duty beauty. And I know that Tarte kind of coined that phrase with a lot of their cosmetics, but I feel like what we can do in the morning to streamline our routine is important if we're having days when we really need to get out that door really, really fast. So the first thing to me, even though this is skincare, it's not makeup, would be to choose products that really quickly achieve what you need them to. I have been absolutely loving the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Cleanser. This has vitamin A and glycolic acid in it. Now I'm not, you know, so worried about the vitamin A because I realized with a cleanser, it gets washed off quickly. But the glycolic acid to me is important in the morning because I do a lot of treatments at night, especially my Retin-A, that will make my skin start to slough off. And so having a glycolic in the cleanser really helps to loosen that dead skin and then wash it away. It's not foaming at all, so you know that. So there's no harsh irritants in it. So if I were in a big hurry in the morning, I would definitely choose that as cleanser. And then I wouldn't take time to do serums or anything like that, but you definitely need to put moisture back on your face. And I would say that the Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer with the SPF of 46 in it is absolutely fantastic. If you haven't tried this before, definitely try it because it is very moisturizing. And if you are an oily skin gal, you're going to love this because it's super light. It's not anything that's gonna be heavy, that's gonna interfere with your makeup or anything like that. It's super light and it's super great. So I choose things that are going to do things quickly for me. So this would be my skincare. Two steps, I'm ready to move on to makeup. As far as makeup goes, again, I'm gonna choose things that would go really quickly for me. I have two primers here that I really am enjoying right now. One of them I have talked about a million times on my channel and it's the Revlon Color Stay Prep and Protect. And this one has a broad spectrum SPF of 34 in it. And then the other one is from City Beauty and this is their Skin Perfecting Daily Veil. Again, it's the primer and it has the sunscreen, I can't talk, broad spe spectrum of SPF of 39. Woo, that was hard. Okay, so what I love about the one from Revlon is that I feel like it has a lot of the mineral sunscreen in it because it does have that white cast that goes on it. So I do appreciate that about it. It feels hydrating. And it and does it feel like it has a little bit of dimethicone in it. I love the price tag on it too, but I'll tell you why I love the City Beauty one. Actually, they sent this to me just so you know. So has the SPF in it. It has the primer part in it. It's a little bit more thick than the Revlon one was. 
and it has kind of some light catching properties to it or reflective properties to it that I love. If now, you are someone that has really nice skin and all you really want to do is just make it look very even and you want to make it look blurred, this is gorgeous for you. Now, this one can achieve the same thing. The Revlon can achieve the same thing, but I don't feel like the Revlon has those reflective properties in it like the City Beauty one does. Now, I will say City Beauty is not inexpensive and you guys know that I am built around a drugstore theme on my channel. I really try hard to dupe things out for you guys and I try hard to make sure that I am giving you guys the very best bang for your buck. However, City Beauty has sales on all the time. So make sure you get on their mailing list and they are going to treat you right. And you're going to be getting those skin loving ingredients in there too. They are known for having really great ingredients that help our aging skin besides having just the SPF and the primer that blurs our skin. So I really am enjoying that one. Now, if you are somebody that really needs to get out the door really a lot quicker than that, pick one of these CC creams or one of the creams that have the SPF in it. It also has a moisturizer in it. It has your foundation in it and they finish the skin so pretty. I have the number seven protect and perfect perfect advanced all-in-one foundation this one has a sunscreen of 50 in it and it has the um, moisturizer in it as well i also have the cult classic of the it cosmetics cc this one is the oil-free matte one so if you're somebody that does have oily skin you might really like this but if you're normal skin as well this one is good i have dry skin i don't think this is matte i like using this one this has the spf of 40 the original one has an spf of 50 in it but this also has the moisturizer and it has the full coverage in and it. And then as well, the new Estee Lauder uh, Hydra Rescue Futurist foundation. It is just a beautiful foundation as well. This is an SPF of 45. This one is beautiful on the skin. Actually, I like all three of them. I love the Futurist, but I also love the number seven. This one is one that you can go back to over and over again and works for so many different people. But if you have super duper dry skin, the one from Estee Lauder is gonna be really good for you. And there's a billion different colors that find you your perfect color on this one. So I think that all three of these would hit somebody across the board and you're gonna find what you like in here. But this is a really versatile one at the drugstore. So keep that number seven one in mind if you're somebody that's looking for cost effectiveness as well. Now again, if you're somebody that's looking for things that pull double duty and you're somebody that really doesn't like those CC creams, maybe take a look at your setting sprays. I have several different here. Super Goop is the one that actually originally turned me on to a setting spray with your SPF in it. And I think this is such a good one. I love the mister on this. The mister to me on any makeup spray is what hits it or misses it for me. And this one has super fine one. I mean, I can put this on anytime throughout the day and I've got that protection again. This has a little minty smell to it, which is really nice. It's not an overpowering smell. It's just a really light hint of a, of a minty smell in there. And then also from Milani, this one is the Make It Last sunscreen, and this one has an SPF of 30. Again, throughout the day, if you're wanting to refresh your makeup, you're wanting to make sure your makeup's staying on, or you're just wanting to make sure that you have that protection, you can go ahead and mist your face with with this one and again this mister is is very fine and very light and i really do like that now another one that i think the mister on is fantastic is from flower beauty this is the seal the deal hydrating setting spray with a dewy finish it is what i have on my face before i put any of those other ones on there I choose this one because it sets my makeup and I don't get dry throughout the day and I still have a little tiny bit of glow. Now that mister is super duper fine. So you can like mist away and you're never going to disturb your makeup at all. And the next one is all about face palettes that can do everything in them. You can get your blush, your contour, your um, bronzer, and your highlighter, and you can also get some eye looks out of them if you want to. So you're like quickly out the door. And I have a bunch here. This one right here is from Hourglass. This is last year's edition of the Ambient Lighting um, Palette. I love these. I buy them every year. I just think it's worth it to me because you get the setting powders there. You get the blush, you get the bronzer, and you get the highlighter. And then the other two that I have, this one is from Smashbox, and this is the Kelly Contour. I have had this for a long time, and I love this thing. I've even got Hit Pan on the contour color because it's so perfect. 
but this is the same type of thing you're going to be able to get your contour you know brush in other places where you can get that beautiful you know sun-kissed glow if you want a bronzer you can go into it for blush I just think this is great. You've got a banana setting powder and then you've got a highlighter. Same thing on there. And then I have two palettes that I have from e.l.f. And I just wanted to show you that you can customize these palettes, which is what I've done. I took a contour color out of the e.l.f. contour palette. And then I took a color that is in this palette, which is the Heavenly Face palette, I think, Total Face palette from e.l.f. And then I took two other colors that were in maybe the contour one. And then I think this other one was from... Uh, maybe the bronzer one. I'm not exactly sure where these all came from, but what I do is I take these e.l.f. palettes and I pop these out. As you can see right here, they all pop out. And then I just make my own custom palette. So you can take one of these blushes, put it in here if you want to. I've actually got this peach color right here for the blush that I wanted to use. And you can just customize these however you want. So instead of spending, you know, like $40 on one of these, you can get these for like $8. Mix them up and be able to get your own customized palette it yourself and here is part of the fourth one is finding a really good brush that you can use for so many things this brush is a, a really thick fan brush now i can go in with my powder i can do my contour i can do my blush and my highlight with this this is one of my workhorse brushes i love this thing let's just look at this palette because this is one of my very favorite palettes and i don't think this one gets enough love on YouTube. It has the contour color in here. Go down in the, there with the side of that uh, contour and, and then you can just blend because it's you know fluffy and nice now I could go across here get a really pretty bronzer color And then I can go into this color here and get a really natural natural blush Then I've got the highlight over here and I could just hit the high points and do a pretty highlight even if you and had a napkin in your car or whatever just take most of that color off go down into this banana powder and then set all of this other because the powder is so pretty and so nice so you're like out the door what about my eyes take that color right there on your finger and just you know contour your eye a little bit you know down into the crease a little bit buff it take this color right here on your finger you've got a beautiful lid color you're out the door you can even use this contour color as your eyebrow color because it's a more muted color so it's not going to make you look crazy and i think that it's one that you could just really quickly make a look out of you could do liner out of this color and then you could use one of these colors for your inner rim if you wanted to as well i think this is fantastic this last one i'm going to kind of double team here because i really did have six but what i really want to say is double duty your products for your lips and your cheeks use your cream blush as your lipstick if you want to and use your lipstick as your cream blush if you want to this is a shade that i have on right now it's a beautiful pink and if i wanted to i could just take that shade and just buff it across my cheeks and get just this beautiful flush of color and that would stay there because this is more of a matte color and i just think that that's so pretty i didn't say what color this was this is heartless from urban decay it's their vice lipsticks it's more of a matte formula definitely could use that across the cheeks and then these are the multi sticks from from elf and i think these are great too this is sparkling rose this is a beautiful mauve color that could be on that could be so pretty on the lips as well you could build that up if you're you know deeper skinned you can build it up or if you're you know really light you can go really easy really light handed with it and then this one is dazzling peony or peony whichever one you want to say my grandma used to say peony so i that's what i say but either one of these is gorgeous they just make the most beautiful colors across the cheeks and that's what they're meant to do because they're multi-sticks use them as your lipsticks as well and you're ready you're out the door so i think that is so much fun the last one i'm going to really quickly mention because we're supposed to have five not six but i could not have a quick tip video without having this one this is my brow highlight from wet n wild and so many people were saying that this was being discontinued but it is on their website and it also is on amazon now so i I think they just had a little bit of a lull there during COVID when they weren't manufacturing things and this was hard to get your hands on. But this little baby is so awesome. I put it in my waterline and I put it in my inner tear duct. I use it across my brow to give a lift to my brow. I put it down my nose to give a little bit of a thinning effect to my nose. 
I put it on my Cupid's bow to help that that part look a little, a little bit, bit brighter and a little bit lighter. I just use that there and I love it. I also think you could go across your whole entire eyelid with this and give your eye a really bright, wide open awake look to it. This is a little workhorse product as well. I love this thing and I had to put it in this video. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing my five tips, six tips for getting out the door quickly. Products that can work in tandem with other products. So you have just like four or five steps instead of like 17, like I do on most days that I'm doing my makeup. I hope you did enjoy this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please don't forget to go over and say hello to Melissa and tell her that Melissa sent you. And I think you're really gonna fall in love with her. I love her to pieces. Thanks so much again for being here with me today. And I hope everybody is staying safe, stay sanitized, stay healthy, and I will catch you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.